Welcome back. Let's find out if we've got anything wrong so far. For that, we go to TV's Andy Levy. So, Andy, any new thoughts on Radiohead's truly magnificent new album? I do have some thoughts, Greg. It's pretty clear that The King of Limbs is the best album of 2011. I know it's only February, but it's game over. Nothing else is going to match the smooth jerkiness of Bloom, the electronic naturalism of Morning Mr. Magpie, the jarring serenity of Give Up the Ghost, the harsh beauty of Lotus Flower, and the edgy mellowness of Codex. It's truly the great post-dubstep ambient trance soul record the, wo the world has been waiting for. And really, the only way it could not be the album of the year is if Radiohead decides to release something else between now and January. Well, I couldn't disagree with you more, Andy. The fact is, The King of Limbs is not the best album of 2011. It's actually the best album of the century, which is saying something since to this day, I've still not listened to it, yet I'm confident that listening to it will not alter my opinion one iota. It is really that great. So you're calling it the album of the century when you know Radiohead's going to put out more albums this century. That's just really stupid and shows an absolutely amazing lack of musical knowledge, Greg. Well, I'm just that confident about the true greatness of their latest album. Yeah. I don't think they can match it. No. Oh, they can match it. They top themselves with every album, Greg. I wish you would top yourself. Ugh. Oh. Yeah. I don't even know how that looks. Imogen, I think that, that means something different. Does that mean something different in England, Imogen? It means multiple things in England. Yeah. It just wasn't yeah, very nice, Greg. Be okay. nice to Andy, honestly. Right. It means, well, never mind. Yeah. Go ahead. Okay.